and uh, try not to look at the artwork, but actually look at the constellation, the lines, and where the stars are. You notice that Jupiter right here is uh, is just about to cross this line and go into really the, the belly, the womb, so to speak, of, of Virgo at this time in 2016. Uh, in November, November 20th, 2016. Now, I'm going to play this forward here, and I'm going to show you something. Stay tuned. Jupiter goes into the, into the womb of Virgo, goes into retrograde motion, turns around. We're, we're watching Jupiter. Jupiter is moving, and we are also moving, so the, the, the planets appear to loop through the sky at times. Turns around and comes out. Okay? It, it does this. It does a loop right inside of Virgo. Um, very interesting. Very interesting. Now, uh, based on, I'm going to bring that right sort of back to the line. Uh, just sort of bring it back another day here. Uh, so what we're looking at is November 20th, 2016 to September 9th, 2017. And this is the time that the, that the king was in the belly of Virgo. You're going to find this fascinating, I think. If we study gestation, which is... I'll just read the definition right here. Gestation is the period of time between conception and birth. During this time, the baby grows and develops inside the mother's womb. Okay? Uh, most people know that to be about nine, nine and a half month, uh, months. Okay? Gestational age is the common term used during pregnancy to describe how far along the pregnancy is. It is measured in weeks, from the first day of the woman's last menstrual cycle to the current date. Normal pregnancy, I'm going to highlight this, a normal pregnancy can range from 38 to 42 weeks. Now, on the early side of that, infants born before 37 weeks are considered premature. Infants born after 42 weeks are considered post-mature. Alright, so, we're looking at a time frame between 38 to 42 weeks. Now, uh, I told you the time frame that we looked at here. Of course, we're at the end right here. We are in November 2017, November 9th, actually. And I started back here. So Jupiter's coming out of this line here. This is the birth canal between her hips, right? You can see that. And, of course, the planets and the moon, they would always sort of cruise by this uh, line here. And uh, Jupiter entered right in over here, 2016 right about on like the 20th, just was coming in there, okay? So, uh, if I punch in these numbers, and of course this is not an exact science, but it's pretty close. We're just watching it coming into and then coming out Virgo. Okay, now, uh, take a look at this. So I punched in these dates, 11-20-2016, that's when, that's the entering date, and November 9th, 2017. That's the exit date. Remember what we're looking for. A healthy pregnancy is between 38 and 42 weeks. Timeanddate.com. I've calculated this and this is behind my picture so I'll have to bring it up. The result here of the, between those two dates is 293 days, 9 months and 20 days. A typical a typical pregnancy is about nine and a half, which would be nine months and 15 days. Look at that, 41 weeks. 41 weeks. A normal pregnancy can range between 38 and 42 weeks. 41 weeks. Jupiter, the king planet, is inside, I'll run it again, is inside Virgo. And amazingly, the only way that works is for the planet to go into retrograde motion, to loop around, and come back, and then turn around again, and then come through the birth canal. It's perfect.
far as the retrograde motions go, the, the smaller the orbit, the shorter their retrograde motion is. As far as it's all optical and what it looks like, uh, the farther out it is, the longer and the bigger and the more drawn out the retrograde motion is. Now, um, right here, uh, Mercury, um, Venus are are on the inside towards the sun from us. Their retrograde motion is too short for them to when if they were to go through Virgo, it, there's no way that it would last nine uh, and a half months or, or 41. Um, 41 weeks. Uh, right here is Mars, still too short. Uh, this is Jupiter, the king planet. Saturn, too far away. Too long. And Uranus and Neptune, also too far away. Retrograde motion it would be too long. Okay? Only the king planet has a retrograde motion of 41 weeks. Now, right here, just a few days later, the entire sign shows up because we have to wait until after the moon passes the sun, and we are, and we have to wait until these planets also come, adding three three more stars. Uh, remember, the Latin is aster planetes. Planetes means wandering. Aster is where we read the word star wandering stars. Biblically, planets are called stars because they're the wandering stars. And that's what Revelation 12 said, is that is that 12 stars are at her head. Right here. A garland of 12 stars on her head. Uh, so just after she gives birth, or, or Jupiter comes through the birth canal, We've got the moon at her feet, she's clothed in the sun, we've got 12 above her head, we've got the king coming out of the virgin, alright? So, and it just so happens that this planet was perfectly inside of her for 41 weeks. Exactly what a, a healthy baby would be inside of its mother. And there are some people that say this sign is not what it is. This happens on September 23rd, 2017. It's a mid-trib sign. It happens right here. It's a mid-trib sign. That would be right here, September of 2017. Now, a sign doesn't have to be exactly at a certain point. A lot of times, a sign is prior. On the highway, you know, you're given some time before your exit, right? The sign is not necessarily, the, the first time you see a sign, it's not at the exit, or you'd miss it. A sign is a lot of times prior to uh, an actual event. So I think anywhere in here could be mid-trib events. But the sign is right here. Interestingly enough, as you've seen in my other videos, you count back three and a half years. If we're talking mid-trib, it just so happens it's exactly where uh, the beginning in the spring of where this uh, other big sign in the heavens, which I'm sure you've seen on my channel. If you haven't, I have a signs in the heavens. Um, playlist, which will show you what I believe this lunar tetrad, prophetic lunar tetrad means. I'm even wearing a shirt. Are you rapture ready? 2014 and 2015, blood moons, full lunar eclipses on the feast days. This is what the day of the Lord means. It means a time period. It means a seven year period. It's well known as the day of the Lord, Jacob's trouble, Daniel's 70th week. Um, it's the day of wrath. So we have a pre-trib sign, 
pre-day of the Lord sign. Joel 2.31 spells it out. And then, Revelation 12, we have a mid-trib sign, which the woman, clothed in the sun, with the moon at her feet, and twelve stars at her head, crowning her in labor and in pain to give birth. That We have a mid-trib sign in the heavens. And then, Matthew 24, in Matthew 24, this is the second coming. This is not the rapture. So a lot of people say that Matthew 24, 29 through 31 is, is the rapture. I've already explained that and disproven that. There's some, some bad pastors who should not be teaching prophecy or they should learn it before they teach it, uh, who make videos and, and are confusing people. Um, but it says right here in Matthew 24, immediately after the tribula uh, tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon shall not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. This is, uh, this is the second coming. Okay, but it says the sun will be, will be turned to, well, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light immediately after the tribulation. So what we have here is we have a before the tribulation talking about eclipses. We have a sign in Joel 2.31. It's also in Acts chapter 2. And we've got a mid-trib sign in the heavens in, in Revelation 12, a number of mid-trib signs. And if you're looking for more signs, if you're wondering, uh, if you keep reading in, in Revelation 12 from like 3 on, it says then there's another sign, the great red dragon. I have a video on that in my signs of the, play, uh, in my signs of the heavens playlist. Uh, please watch that. Uh, because I go and I show that there are more signs happening in the heavens but I don't want to keep repeating and making the same video over and over. So, we've got a pre-trib sign, we've got a mid-trib sign, and we've got a post-trib sign in the heavens. And what did it say? Again, in the same way, Joel 2.31 said that the sun will be darkened, and the moon will be turned to blood. And in Matthew 24, 29, says, after the tribulation, the sun shall not give its light, uh, and neither will the moon, which are solar and lunar eclipses. Okay? I just wanted to show you that. Please, if you haven't seen my other videos on my, my Signs in the Heavens playlist, there is so much. There's so much information out there. But I just wanted to show you that, that Jupiter is in the womb of Virgo in 2016 and 2017 for 41 weeks, nine and a half months, a perfect gestation period. Surprise, Bible prophecy in your face. Revelation 13, 14 through 18. And he deceives, this is the Antichrist, and he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on earth to make an image to the beast. See, this is how you got like a couple of beasts here. Uh, who was wounded by the sword and lived. Okay, was Obama wounded by a sword and did he live? can't prove that. Okay, he was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. And then it goes on and it talks about the number of the beast and this is a mark and no one may buy or sell except that you have this. It's, uh, it's, it's 666. Lucifer has been on a mission to sit on Yahweh's throne since he declared it in his heart as recorded in Isaiah 14, 13. And you said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit on the mount of assembly in the uttermost north. Lucifer knows the only place he has a chance of making that happen is on earth, in the holy temple of Yahweh. This is why the Antichrist will bring peace to the Middle East. Daniel 9, 27. To have the Jews rebuild the temple so that he can control it and sit in it. 2 Thessalonians 2, 3, and 4 hangs the false theory about no rebuilt temple.